here we are with Isabel, who is a med student uh, who, who posed her degree, medical degree, to do a year in physics, which is quite unusual. So Isabel, how did it all come to be? Um, so I guess in medicine you're allowed to do, um, take a year off and do some research. And I just found that I was really interested in physics. Um, I kind of wanted to understand a bit more how all the technologies we use in medicine work. Um, and I got an opportunity to do a research project with Kay here in um, X-ray imaging. Um, and it's been a great year so far. And obviously you've taken um, physics in high school. Is that where your interest in physics started? Uh, yeah, I guess I studied physics um, in high school and I, I guess I enjoy physics. I like understanding how things work. Uh, medicine's more an applied science, which is also really interesting and important, but I guess I just wanted to know a bit more um, on a concept basis, sort of why things work and how they work, and I guess that's why physics is so interesting. And you've taken uh, first or second year physics? In no, I ha not at uni, no. I, um, I fortunately had some great supervisors who taught me a lot about physics, and I, I did a bit of study on my own, um, learning sort of the basics that I needed to know for this project. Um, and hopefully I'll go study some <laughs> undergrad physics later on. <laughs> yeah. That's great. And Isabel's supervisor on this project is Kay, our uh, medical physicist. So Kay, how did this project come to be? It's quite unusual to have a medical yeah. med student doing physics. Yeah, it was kind of an interesting story. Um, one of Isabel's lecturers, um, who's now also co-supervising with me, um, was from medicine and he had started doing undergraduate physics um, just in his spare time, just because he really enjoyed it. And so he got talking to David Paganin, one of our other lecturers uh, here in physics, and uh, they, they thought, oh, this would be really good if we can find some physics for Isabel to do. Um, and so we all kind of came together and the, the project came together and she came on board. That's great. So what's your project about? Um, so it's a technique called phase contrast x-ray imaging, um, which is an x-ray technique which allows you to look at soft tissue structures, um, which you can't see with, I guess, conventional x-ray imaging that relies on the absorption of x-rays. Um, and my, my particular project is about a technique that Kay and David developed very recently um, that I guess is very promising for being applied to medicine uh, for, a, for a number of reasons. So I'm just looking at a, a few factors about that. That's great. And um, could you see application for this in the, in the real world? Definitely, yeah. So um, the method that Isabel's been working on, um, as opposed to some of the other phase contrast imaging methods, this one uh, can capture data really quickly. So you can take really high speed movies and see um, changes uh, in the tissue uh, in real time. And so we can be able to monitor the airways, things like that, uh, without having to do a really long exposure where you often get movement from the patient or um, take several images to put together to get one um, where the patient will move between the images, you won't be able to reconstruct it. So your project involved um, getting some data and I heard you went to Japan synchrotron facility. How was that? Yeah, it was really amazing. Um, it's a very, one of the biggest research facilities in the world. Um, they do a lot of medical imaging over there. Um, there are a lot of teams doing some very interesting projects and luckily Kay took me along on one of her trips and I got to do some imaging. So yeah, it was really great. That's great. So I guess it gave you a feel how the real research um, is going. C can you see application when, once you continue with your me medical studies? Can you see application of what you learn here? Yeah, definitely. I think um, physics has played a very fundamental role in the development of a lot of health technologies. Um, X-rays being one of them, every other imaging technique, uh, development of lasers, um, nearly every technology applied in medicine has come from physics. So I definitely think there are so many applications. Um, I, guess, I guess it's about working out what is most interesting and what I want to do with that. So thank you, Isabel. Thank you, Kay, for sharing uh, this wonderful experience. And I hope our students find it very interesting.